Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pahal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R Programming Language. In this video, I'll be talking about matrices. In my previous video, I have just talked about the first data structure in the R, which is called vector. So this is my second data structure, which is my matrix. So what is matrices? The matrices can be defined as the two dimensional data structure and it is arranged in the rectangular layout. And one important uh, point about matrix are like it contain the data of a same data type, right? So how we can get start with the matrix? If you are new to the matrix, what you can do? Simply put a question mark, right? And simply write matrix. Okay, so it will be, the R will give you the all the important documentation, everything help regarding it in the right side. You can see it here. It's the entire documentation in which you can find the syntax and all everything over there. So in this video, I'll be covering these important things which I've already listed in the form of comments. So let's start with the first uh, creation of a matrix. Let's do it here. So what I can do, I'm just using uh, maybe a var one variable, maybe Q, okay? So to which I'll be using matrix function in which I'll be uh, defining data first, then I'm defining n row, means number of rows. I'm putting it as three and n call, I'm putting it as maybe two, right? Let's see if how, what will be my matrix? This is my matrix. You can see it here. I got uh, three rows and two column matrix, right? So what is n row? n row I've already defined. It defines the row number of a matrix. n call means it defined the column number of a matrix. In this case, you must be wondering that why I haven't used the word data. Actually, it is optional keyword. Uh, if you don't specify still, it's okay. So this is a data actually. I can, I'll be showing you in a while. We can also use a data as a parameter. So let's suppose uh, if I don't specify rows and column, what will happen? What it means, I'm using another variable now, maybe Q1. In this case, I'm not using n row n call. Let's see how the system will take it, how the R will take it. So Q1, it's still giving me the same answer, right? So it means in this case, R will automatically pick up the number of rows and columns based upon the order of input. So now let's uh, make another variation in this. Instead of Q1, I'm now taking Q2. And I'm now uh, doing one thing. I'm just using again one, uh, one to six as a data. N a number of call equal to three. And I'm not using now two. So it means I'm just defining a number of columns only. Let's see if the answer remains same. Okay. So in this case, what will happen? So uh, in this case, I'm not using N call. Well, I'm just specifying one of the dimension and still it's working fine. Although the structure has been changed, but there's no error available. It means it's quite flexible to use metrics in a R language. Now, uh, moving further, I can also make use of uh, call names and row names as well. What it means, let's define another variable, maybe M, in which I'm calling a matrix function and I'm having a data from one to 20 all right, and I got number of call means number of columns as four. Okay, this is my data. Okay, now afterwards I'm defining call names. Okay, column names because we can have column names of a matrix as well and row names as well. So here I'm using combine function C. Okay, and I'm defining some uh, some names here, maybe A, B. Okay, C, D, okay, this is my column names. And same way, I'm now defining my row names. The function is row names. In this case, I'm defining here E, F, G, H, I, G, H, and I got another row, which is I. So this is my uh, thing. Now let's check out the M. And you can see it here. I got row names and column names available over there, right? So this is how we can make use of these important functions with respect to metrics. We can also use the data, which I've already specified here, how we can make use of it. Let's suppose I got uh, this uh, variable. In this case, I'm calling metrics. Okay, and I'm also defining here uh, number of column as two number of rows as four and i'm using data explicitly from one to eight so u is returning 
my matrix right this is how we can use the three things next next we have dim dim means dimension let's use the dim of u it will be returning 4 by 2 matrix right dimensions of a matrix then we have a mode so what is mode let's see it here i'm using mode u here so what it means it will uh, guys it will inform us the type or storage mode of object like it is showing now numeric right this is called as a mode moving further attributes again attributes will return the dimensions so attributes of u it is returning me dimensions 4 by 2 right so next point is uh, help again we already use the help in the form of question mark still we have a help available on a matrix simply call the help function which I already have defined in my one of my video how to get help in R and it will be returning the help on R right this is the help then we have a by row available what is by row let me show you first okay again I'm using this same information I'm using u1 and I'm using here by row equal to true so what will happen in this case you will find some difference so u1 you can see it here in this case everything is going by row means uh, earlier if I'm just printing the u1 sir and just see the difference in a by row it is going row wise means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 means row wise but here it was column wise like 1 2 3 4 first column ended then 5 6 7 8 so difference is there between u and u1 right next we have a diagonal let's try to uh, print the diagonal okay so for this we have a function available diag d i a g let's go with this so we have the diagonal function available okay so i'm just using d as a variable diag specify what you will be having as a uh, like element in that uh, matrix and then you can define number of row equal to 2 number of call equal to 2 so it will be a, a kind of identity matrix you can see it here in which i got one got printed in a diagonals so if you if you put it here uh, 2 so it will be 2 coming in a diagonal rest everything will be same so it will be 2 by this is the 2 it means the identity matrix now right it's called diag then we have a transpose what it means so i already have a u1 available right so let's take a transpose of it so transpose uh, we already have discussed right uh, like in the mathematics you must be aware of the fact we do have a transpose available so how we can make use of it it's quite simple just now use the t of u1 okay so this is a transpose right you can see it here t of u1 it's called transpose now how we can make use of multiplication of a matrix with a constant it's allowed we can have the multiplication available so simply use uh, maybe let's suppose uh, let me clear the screen so i want to have multiply with 4 u1 okay so it is uh, showing me that i can easily multiply the matrix with a constant in the same way addition is allowed let's suppose i want to add uh, to 4 to u1 it's perfectly allowed and we can also have a subtraction available right it's perfectly fine right you can see it here so the simple addition simple subtraction arithmetic operations are possible last point is how we can access rows columns or a sub matrices okay what it means uh, let's suppose we have a u1 available i want to uh, access some elements of this so what i can do uh, let's suppose i want to have i'm writing it here u1 and i am putting in a square brackets let's suppose two comma what it means i want to print the uh, it means two means second row all the elements so three four got printed if i'm uh, going with maybe comma three square comma maybe one so you can see it here first column got printed okay this is how we can access the elements in the same way we can also specify some kind of uh, like a range as well let's suppose i'm going with uh, something maybe one two two okay some kind of range two comma three so it is showing it's out of bounds let me now uh, make it fine 
you can see it here now in the, actually in this case the error was that i'm trying to access the element which is out of the bound of the matrix but here i'm getting the one two three four it's a sub matrix right so i'm trying to fetch some part of a matrix with the it's a sub matrix right so this marks the end of this video i hope you must have understood the matrix and the operations on the matrix rest of the content i'll be covering in a next video thanks for watching guys see you next video